I was probably lucky enough in the sense that uh, I grew up um, in Brantford and my dad's sister was uh, mentally challenged. Um, as my dad said back in that era, we called it uh, Down syndrome, but today's day and age, uh, mentally challenged is the proper terminology. So when I met Joey, I was extremely comfortable. Um, I understood his uh, sort of mindset and I'd kind of grown up with it. So when um, Glenn Saylor was kind enough to let Joey jump on board, uh, come and work in the locker room. We didn't anticipate him being there for 35 years with not only the Oilers, but of course, how nice the Edmonton uh, football club um, has been to Joey. And, um, you know, he brought a ray of sunshine and a lot of uh, fond memories to all of us. And I had so many people over the last 24 hours reach out talk about how exciting Joey was to be around and um, you know that Joey had lived probably a really wonderful life but as I said to them you know he made our lives better uh, it wasn't just us making his life better without question he made our lives better um, I said it before uh, there was nothing better than having a cup of coffee before practice with him uh, him talking about life and his aunts and his family and his mom uh, to playing the games and losing tough games and him t tapping you on the shoulder telling you not to worry about it we'll win tomorrow um, so <clears throat> he's a special man and uh, as I've said before I'm not sure his impact uh, what we will we'll really realize because Obviously, he opened doors for a lot of kids across Canada and North America. But more importantly, I think what he did best was he gave parents hope. Parents who had kids that are mentally challenged saw Joey Moss living a relatively normal life, fitting into society and being accepted uh, as a, a regular person. And I think that gave parents of kids with handicaps uh, a great deal of hope. And I think that was the biggest thing that Joey Moss brought to his life uh, as far as helping other people. Um, so it was an honor for me to know him. He was a great friend. He lived with me off and on for a lot of years. And we spent a lot of time together. Just a wonderful young man and we'll truly miss him. We made people happy by winning. We made people excited by winning championships. Uh, he made people happy who might not have been hockey fans, but he gave them hope for their kids. Uh, you know, and uh, I, I can't say enough about what he did to raise awareness, to show people that somebody with a handicap can still be part of society. And so, we got to figure out the right way to honor him that'll last a lifetime. He deserves that.